What's up guys, I device help here and today Apple released the second beta for iOS 10. The one that we've been anticipating here for the last couple of days coming in at build number 14A. 5297C. Now what's new with this beta? In this video I'm going to give you a quick overall view of what's new. I'm sure a lot of new features are available. I'm just going to give you an overall quick glance of what's new. I'm also going to be filming a follow-up video on the iPhone 5 to see the performance on that as well with this second beta of iOS 10. So let's go ahead and jump right into and show you what's new with the second beta. It looks like Apple is targeting refinement, refining the OS with this beta in terms of UI. So if we go here into the control center and we 3D touch on the timer now we see some new icons here again a little bit more refined icons as well as on the flash you see a little bit of refinement on the icons uh, we can also see some of that here on uh, the actual audio inputs and outputs as you can see here you now have an iPhone and an Apple TV if you have those devices connected to the particular device you now get the icon as well now let's go ahead into the settings we don't have a dark mode yet which I was really anticipating and hoping for but what we did get with iOS 10 was some new changes to the spotlight search options here you now have two new options to toggle on or off the spotlight search suggestions and you also have the suggestions for the lookups so when you're searching through the spotlight search it'll take away some of these uh, spotlight suggestions you these toggles are now available here I was really hoping for this to come and it is here now it can get really annoying sometimes when you search and get all these suggestions from everywhere now, the feedback application appeared on my springboard with the second beta of iOS 10 for those of you interested the most rumored organ donor option is now available under the new health application that Apple introduced with iOS 9 so now here with iOS 10 beta 2 we get an organ donor option available for the software taking a look at the performance with the Geekbench test that I ran on iOS beta 1, iOS 10 beta 1 that is, which came in at a single core score of 2531. And for iOS 10 beta 2, it came in at 2506, which a little bit down on the single core score. When it comes to multi-core score though, we got 4252, and on the multi-core score, we got 4375. So a little bit of increase here on the multi-core performance. Again, these tests do have some margin for error, but it does tell part of the story. So it looks like on the multi-core score, iOS 10 is performing a bit better than its predecessor beta 1. Quickly taking a look inside of the messages application, I noticed that when you tap on the heart, you now get a circle here to select the actual color that you're going to use for your sketches. Once you select the color and the message is sent, it goes back to the circle so you can select there the color that you wish. You now have your camera button right there as well so you can go ahead and take a picture or video and go ahead and edit it right there on the go. You don't have to actually take a picture first. So those are some of the changes inside of the second option. Everything else seems to be the same. If we go into the App Store tab, we have a few minor refinements as well inside of here. As you can see here, now Apple adds a plus button instead of the App Store button for all the extensions that you add onto the device and a new look as well for the search or image tabs as well as you scroll through the device here in the messages application so overall guys minor refinements no big features added to the control center or the dark mode that we're anticipating for iOS 10 none of that has yet been present with iOS 10 hopefully on future betas again if I find more new features I'll be filming those for you guys as of right now this was a quick first look at some of the new things that I've seen so far with the latest beta be sure to stay tuned for the iPhone 5 follow-up video on iOS 10 beta Two, to see how the performance on that device is going as well. It's been iDevice Help. I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a great day. I will catch you guys really soon. Peace.